the Black Mamba and JaVale McGee both set to go here. Uh, if you guys missed the last episode, we did go up one to nothing in the series against the Miami Heat. So uh, we have one more game left in the Staples Center. Then we're going to be headed to Miami for the next three games. So we definitely want to take advantage of the time that we have at home. So now that the team is set to go, Let's take a look at what we have, you know, accomplished so far. I know I haven't really shown you guys my minutes. So here's how many minutes I've been getting on the team. 41 minutes out of the 48 is by my guy. As you can see, Kobe Bryant getting 36 minutes. So I'm the, you know, they've been using me a lot lately. Here's the local fan support, league-wide popularity, and the teammate chemistry. Obviously, with my teammates, the chemistry is not so good yet. But we definitely need that. To come up big here in game number two. So here we go. Battier gives it to McGee. McGee dishes it out to Randolph. So, so far, everyone pretty much got touches there on that play. And we found ourselves a good play. Now I take it inside. And I'm surprised that one didn't get blocked. So. Two for two so far, off to a really good start. LeBron James taking it inside. That ball gets stripped. And now Battier finds me wide open for the three. So now we're up 11 to six. So five points, one assist so far. Two minutes remaining in the first quarter. And another wide open mid-range shot. The defense got a little confused. So score is 26 to 18 now. Miami made their comeback. So now we're pushing to take the lead once again start things going with an assist to Randolph and now I notice JaVale McGee left wide open so I get back to back assists right there and now we simulate into the second quarter Dwayne Wade attacking on Kobe and look at that tough layup on Kobe Bryant so they take the lead and they go up by 10 points once again and now in the third quarter LeBron James taking it inside on Battier and just too easy for him so far. He had a little quiet first game, but now he's back with some revenge. So 42 to 30. I'm batting down uh, Boykins to get something going here. I'm surprised the foul didn't get caught. So I cut it to 10 points once again. So it's a 12-point game here. JaVale McGee cutting inside and another alley-oop. 13 points, 5 assists, 2 steals so far. Dwayne Wade, they try to get an alley-oop going, but that one is unsuccessful. So now I'm left wide open. So finally, the lead is cut down to 8 points. But, you know, Miami Heat, they scored on the other way. But LeBron James here airballs the ball. So we got a little fast break going. Kobe gives it to me. I give it to Randolph. Randolph gets blocked, but I get it right back here for the mid-range shot. And I get that one to count. 17 points in the game. JaVale sets a nice pick. I give it to Kobe. Kobe with Dwayne Wade all over him. Nothing happening there. Now 10 seconds on the clock. I notice JaVale McGee wants the ball, but I have him set a pick. Defense get confused, and I find myself for a wide open three. So here in the fourth quarter, we're trying to get everything going, but the Miami Heat start off hot as Mike Miller drains the three-pointer right there. So the lead for them is over 10 points once again. So... This is it. Every possession is big here. So I'm trying to take it inside, hoping the defense gets confused. Uh, sort of draw a double team as I do here. Give it to JaVale McGee. So it's a 10-point game now. Earl Boykins on the other way with shot clock ticking down. He gets a mid-range shot, and that one doesn't go down. So here we go. Crawford finds uh, Heinrich. Heinrich takes it inside, and it's an 8-point game. 55-47. to 47. Michael Red falls for the pump fake. Take it inside. There's a lot of contact. My layup doesn't go down. So here we go. Mike Bibby on the other way now. Michael Red jacks up the three and he knocks that one down. So Michael Red killed us with that three pointer. And now LeBron James with that unstoppable layup. So 246 remaining here. And Miami Heat have everything going their way they pretty much knocked down every single shot and now with 43 seconds remaining as Dwayne Wade knocks down his shot this game is pretty much over Miami Heat we kept it pretty close all game long but 
they definitely turned things around in the fourth quarter and just, you know, breezed by us. As you can see, we're still getting a little couple plays to happen here as Kobe Bryant knocks down his shot to just pat on some stats for not only me but him. So he gives me an assist right there. I finished the game with 20 points, 1 rebound, 7 assists, but that big turnover. I have 8 turnovers on the game, and we fall short here in game number 2. So series is tied 1-1. One to one. For joining us for this presentation we plan to win it. That's how we feel. You don't really expect me to come up here and say that we're discouraged and don't feel like we can win the series, do you? Come on now. We're all professionals here, and everyone realizes that this series has a long way to go. It looks like it's going to be back and forth the whole way. So don't be surprised if we're back here for Game 7. But we fully expect to be the ones moving on when all is said and done. So right when I left the game, I noticed I had a 2,000 skill points remaining. And I definitely need to take advantage of all of these skill points. Um, so I decided to pretty much raise uh, let's see we can't work on dunk so i decided to raise my shooting traffic you never know what's gonna happen the ball might come down to me last second so we definitely want to increase this stat right here nba final 2k sports postseason presentation of the nba if you look at miami after taking one of two on the road they'll have three games here at home and i'm sure they'd love to stay put and hoist the o'brien trophy in game five well, I can say this, Kevin, the host that O'Brien trophy anywhere is certainly special, but to do it at home makes it even sweeter. Now, it's not going to be easy to do, Clark. You know that. But they've got a shot at it, and that's going to be a major source of motivation for them. Take care of business tonight and in the two games after this one. A look here at the Lakers starting group presented by State Park. Insanity is in at the point. JaVale McGee is out there with Zach Randall. Then there's Kobe. Our old Boykins tries to give it to Bosch right there, but I get the steal. So I see Kobe Bryant on my left side. I don't know why he stopped, but I also see Randolph cutting in. So we start things off pretty hot here in Miami as I get that one assist right there. And the next play now, Randolph again sets the screen. I take it inside with that tough layup. So we're up 4 nothing early on. Miami does get a free throw to go down. So next play, once again, ball almost gets stolen, but I see DeVale McGee cutting inside. So... There we go, 6-1 to one now with a couple assists for me. So, 2 points, 1 rebound, 2 assists, and 1 steal. Make that 4 points now as I get that mid-range shot to go down. So, 10-5 to five now. I see Randolph cutting in once again. So, there goes another assist. Miami now on the other way. Flash, Dwayne Wade gets stuffed. So, there you go. You have me right there, but LeBron is right behind me. He doesn't go, go up for the block, but he can't block me on that one. So, score is 14-5. Earl Broykins takes it inside, and Jefferson snatches it right out of his hand as Kobe finds himself for a good dunk right there to put us up by 11. So, I noticed Eric Dampier checked in, and he was being guarded by JaVale McGee. So, that was no contest at all. I threw my alley-oop, and he got it. So, I checked out for a couple minutes, and when I checked back in the second quarter, Miami already had the lead. It's still a close game, but LeBron James already started taking over. He finds Michael Red here, who's been big all series long. And he knocks down his three-pointer. So they took on their biggest lead of the game, which was five. So on the other way now, I was attacking as well. I find Derek Fisher, who takes it inside. I'm calling for the ball here. He doesn't want to give it to me. And finally, he does. So I decided to, you know, take it inside. And that was a pretty tough layup right there. A lot of contact, but I do get it to go down. So a minute remaining here. In the first half, Dwayne Wade trying to go to LeBron right there. It gets tipped, but Haslam somehow finds himself wide open for that layup. So next play now, same thing once again. Chris Bosh this time left wide open. He gets a layup and a one point on the free throw as well. So on the other way, I take a three-pointer. That one doesn't go down. So Miami now collects the rebound. And with just 26 seconds remaining, they're trying to add on more points. And Chris Bosh right there to do that for Miami so they took a huge lead going into halftime I know I got a good assist right here to Randolph but still we are down by eight points here headed into the second half and this is not good at all because we had the lead all game long in the first quarter but Miami did come back to take the lead here 
LeBron going to Boykins. Boykins back out to LeBron. LeBron is left wide open. You can't be doing that, but luckily he misses the shot, and I see Kobe Bryant, so I let him reset right there. I'm being guarded by LeBron. I give it to Randolph, and Randolph gets the assist, so inside the paint, as of now in the series, Randolph has been unstoppable. Most of the time when I'm trying to get assist, that's all I have to go to. Earl Boykins trying to give it to Dwayne. And there's a lot of battle going on right there. I tipped the ball, so we're on a fast break now. And you know who it is. JaVale McGee time. But that ball does get tipped out of bounds. So good thing we're going to be getting a ball back. We are down by five points here. 35 to 40. And you know my favorite move right here. No one right there to guard me. And as I do the sneaky little three-pointer right there to cut it down to two points. So now Miami does score on the other way. Randolph setting a pick. I noticed Kobe Bryant called for the ball, but I decided to take this one on my own. And as I'm starting to heat up right here in the third quarter, I knocked down my mid-range shot. So 16 points and 6 assists so far. As Chris Bosh, that unstoppable post move. So we haven't been able to find any answers for him here. So they go up by 6 points once again. So now Randolph gives it right back to me for the 3 here. And this is where I started heating up. So there goes one three-pointer right there for my guy. And next play now, Randolph sets the screen. Give it right back to him. Whenever a teammate gives you a pick like that, you always have to give it right back to them. They deserve those points. So next play now, mid-range shot. Like I said, my I don't think I missed at all in this quarter. My guy was heating up. But of course, the Miami Heat always had an answer to all of our possessions. So score is 54 to 47. It's only a seven point game, but with Buttinger's three point shot, make that a four point game with 26 seconds remaining. So here with two seconds remaining in the third quarter, Crawford gets a good look, but that shot doesn't go down. So we wrap up the third quarter and now we are headed to one of the biggest quarters of the series. Dampier dishes out to House. House for a three-pointer. Doesn't go down, but Elgaskis tried to get a shot, but he gets blocked. So now Crawford for the three, and finally he knocks it down. 57 to 37, LeBron James. Give it to House. House with shot clock taken down, and on the other way, House gets a three-pointer. So now House, after that three-point shot, takes it inside. And with all that contact, he was still able to knock down that layup. And on the other way, I get a poor three-pointer to go down. So this is when Miami pretty much took over. House once again resets outside and finds LeBron James for the wide open three-pointer. So same as game number two, we had a chance all game long until it came down to the fourth quarter. And as you can see here, it's still not impossible. It's only a 12-point game as I'm headed to the free throw line. But it's just pretty disappointing when you play a good chemistry game up to three quarters. But then once you get in the fourth quarter, things fall apart. So that's what happened here in game number three. Again, as you can see, Chris Bosh misses a shot. But hey, look who was there to get that putback dunk. So... I know we're getting a lot of chances here in the fourth quarter, but this one was pretty much over. And I I don't know. I don't know why I decided to give it to Kobe Bryant right there. But as you can see, I do get a double-double in this game. 23 points, 3 rebounds, 11 assists, and a couple of crucial steals. But uh, pretty disappointing that we came up short once again. So Bibby right here with shot clock ticking down. Misses the shot. So here we go. We're going to pat on the stats. So here you go, Batty A. Get some shots up, and he gets fouled right there. So let's watch him go to the free throw line. Don't choke now. So Battier knocks down his first shot. Next shot now, and that one goes in again. So I don't know why they're calling a timeout, but on the inbound, I swat the ball out of their hands. So JaVale McGee now. Come on, JaVale, give me the ball. I don't know why he gave it to Kobe. Kobe with a mean turnaround three-pointer. And there you have it. The Miami Heat were down most of the game. But when it mattered most in the fourth quarter, they came up big. And they won this game here.
in game number three and they are up two to one in this series so how will we respond in game number four you guys will find out pretty soon this is Kevin Hart.